Excellent connection. I love seeing that. Okay, so the pause button. Okay, people, we are back and we're going to finish up Resident Evil Outbreak because my autism demands <laughs> that I do. So I took a little break so I could watch the Canelo Triple G fight. It was it was OK. It wasn't a great fight. It was all right. Uh, I think for the first time, Canelo decisively defeated Triple G, but I didn't realize the age gap was so big. Triple G is 40 and uh, Canelo is uh, 32. Okay, so we're going to do the last scenario, which is the biggest, longest, goddamn. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a wild ride, man. So I got to be very smart about who I pick to actually play this stage. I'm thinking Mark. I might go with Mark again. Because of just his his vitality, and this stage isn't like the fourth scenario. Uh, I think it'll be easier for me to avoid getting hit unnecessarily. But the lack of space, you know, like. But then I'm thinking Yoko too. But then like she's the opposite of Mark. She has the lowest HP in the game. Very 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 fragile character. Very fragile, but she has eight fucking item slots like if you can just avoid getting hit man she she's an amazing character if you but you have to not <laughs> you have to not get hit that's the key but when you can hold so much you know you shouldn't be getting hit in the first place so i'm going to pick yoko i, I wish i had her alternate outfit to be yeah. honest with you <laughs> but uh yeah if you if you ever seen uh, a a female Japanese student's gym clothes, you know what I'm talking about. I, I'll try to get it later. I have I have it ready for the the uh, the official playthrough of this game. You know, this is just a stream test, really. But I just want to finish it. So we're gonna go with Yoko. She's fragile, but she, in a way, she's like a glass cannon because she can. She's fragile, but she can hold so many items that it's hard for the, the enemies to really keep you down. And in a stage like this, that's very big, this stage has a lot of items. It has a lot of items, especially like on, on easy and normal. We're playing on normal, but the items don't get stupid scares until like hard and, and uh, very hard. But playing on normal, this stage has a lot of resources. And so I feel like this is a stage where Yoko can really shine the brightest because just the sheer number of resources available to her. But at the same time, I haven't played I haven't played this stage in a long time. Satori Blue, can you hear me? Dear George, can you hear me, Satori Blue? Do you hear my voice? City crisis, which only you will understand. Give me some confirmation. I'm I always feel like I always feel like I'm, okay. I always feel like for some reason Mike isn't working. The fight was okay. It was okay. It wasn't a great fight. Um, I think that I think Triple G is pretty much past his prime and Canelo is smack dab in his prime um Canelo the way he, he fought like he was just bigger and stronger than Triple G and the thing about it Canelo lost his last fight but his last fight was at like I think a hundred 
like over like like, like 175 pounds or something. So basically, my theory is that because if you know the trilogy, triple G, the first fight ended in a draw, but most people think Triple G won. The second fight, Canelo won by decision, but and most people think it was a lot closer, but a lot of people still think that Triple G won that fight too. This fight, Canelo won, I believe, decisively. And I think was what basically happened was that at this point, because this trilogy happened over the course of like several years. So at this point, Canelo is no longer in his prime, whereas Canelo, I mean, C Triple G is no longer in his prime, but Canelo is. Not only that, Canelo has been fighting at higher weight classes. So he's been building strength and size. And I think that he was able to take a, quite quite a bit of that down to the weight that he fought Triple G at. Because he just, it, it seemed like at, at certain points, he was just not quite bullying Triple G. But he just looked significantly stronger than him. And he never looked like that in the other two fights. But it was an okay fight. It was an okay fight. But I think it's it's the first time that Canelo decisively uh -huh. beat Triple G. So that, that there is some significance to it. I don't think anybody's gonna argue for Triple G winning this this fight. So But it's still kinda unfortunate because Triple G really should have won that first fight, but the judges were corrupt. And, and rooted a draw. If he would have won that first fight, um, well, I, I guess in the end it would have been still uh, Canelo would have still came out came out on top. You can't take anything away from Canelo. I think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, if you want to be real about it, he won the trilogy. Even if even if Triple G would have won the first the first fight. I think that Canelo would have would have been with everything else. I think people would have considered him to be the one who won the overall trilogy because he won decisively tonight, and the the other fight was like a mix. But it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't like sparks didn't fly. It wasn't that. Kind of, it wasn't that kind of fight like the first two. I wouldn't say it was disappointing, but it wasn't what I thought it would be. It wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. But we still have Errol Spence versus uh, Terrence Crawford. I think that was going to be quite a bit more exciting. So this is the final scenario of Resident Evil Outbreak. I'm using Yoko. As I said before, she, she has... Very low HP, but she has eight item slots, and in this game, that that really goes for it goes far if you're on a stage with a lot of resources, and that's what this stage is. But I got to be careful because right now, you know, it's I don't really have much to work with, so I'm not like like I'm not about to be like Mark trying to fucking stab zombies and <laughs> shit. I can't afford to take those hits. Okay. So there's already a zombie in here. Hopefully, Kevin will take. Oh, fuck, fuck. Whoa, that was so close. I thought that. Oh, God. The folly of Fitz camera angles, man. Every time, it gets you every time. I thought that she was. Um... <laughs> I thought she was on the other side of that table, man. But we got a handgun now, so now we can get busy. We can get busy now. Yoko, but Yoko does have a, a special uh, maneuver. She can like do this, <laughs> like a, a quick like getaway button. Is that zombie still on the ground? Oh, he killed that bitch. He must use his uh He must use his special handgun then. Alright. 
Kevin has the most powerful handgun in the game as his personal item, but ammunition for it is very rare. And on top of that, he can make it stronger by doing his pop shot ability, which you have to just hold the aim button for a little bit and he'll like change his, uh, he'll like adjust his aim. Making the shot stronger. I think I think it makes like a, a guaranteed critical attack or something. Oh fuck, okay. So like I said before, I've done all these puzzles before, so I have them written down. We're not doing any puzzle solving tonight. We're just Did you find let it? Let me see. I'm just going straight to my notes. Let me see. 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, is it ten oh five? Here's what I'm thinking. No. Okay. Hello. Hey there. Some of the puzzles in this game are kind of unfair, though, in my opinion, but. I think it's kind of like what Carcinogen said. Like, a lot of it was done with the understanding that you were supposed to be playing with other people. So they had to kind of amp up the difficulty of the puzzles to give them, like, some significance. But that, that was one puzzle on the uh, third scenario that really tripped me up because the, the puzzle was like you had to de determine the, like, a four-digit code by it has something to do with colors right and so one of the colors to figure out the puzzle was red right hey. but they didn't use like red hey they use because you, you know how like there are different colors like like different names for co colors that are like not quite the same but similar like crimson red burgundy like all those are kind of in the red category, right? So they use the word carmine, which is like some shade of red. And I had no idea what the hell carmine was. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure this puzzle out and not knowing what carmine was pretty was the main reason why I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. Oh shit. I think I just ended up doing like some guesswork to figure it out. Like kind of guessing what color it could be, but. Here's what I'm and the funny thing about it, like I was thinking, okay, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just dumb and I don't get it. So I started like asking like random people that I knew, like, do you know what Carmine is? And nobody knew what the hell Carmine was, bro. Like, I just thought, uh, like, <laughs> I just thought that was so fucking stupid, man. I thought that was so stupid. I'm gonna put the red gem. See, this is why having that backpack is just, is just OP, man. I swear. Um, Let me get... Nah, you can keep that. And I it, like you put putting key items in your backpack, bullets and everything. Oh my god, dude! Like this is just it. And Yoko has the, she has the slowest infection rate, so she can really take her time on on stages, because her infection rate rises very slowly. I love that space. It, it, I mean, not having to worry so much about limited inventory space. It's just, it's a load off. But you got to be careful with Yoko. You got to be careful. You got to look at it like you're a glass cannon. That's, that's how you got to look at the shit. You're, you're the glass cannon. Oh God! Don't let her start finding different guns and shit. <laughs> You know, most other characters, when you find different guns, you got to decide. You know, you can't have everything. Okay. 
Okay, let me see. So, I'm going to switch that out for this. Add that. Aim check. Dip out. Damn. I was thinking about which characters are my favorite. And I know, uh, like, Alyssa is number one for sure. I never would have thought I would say this, but Mark is number two. And I only realized that recently, like, having played it, like, these past, like, like over the past week. I realized that Mark is my number two because when you start playing on, like, harder difficulties, that extra vitality... Like him having the most HP in the game by quite a bit is very is very useful. It's extremely useful. And then on top of that, just the, the way he his personal item is a standard handgun, so you don't have to use one of your item slots for the handgun, which most people, with most most characters have to do at some point, because the handgun is tends to be the most reliable form of offense because. It tends to be the first weapon that you, the first firearm weapon that you find, the weapon with the most amount of ammunition that you will find. So most people, most characters are gonna end up carrying around a handgun, and he comes with one off, off the rip and is in his personal item slot, so he doesn't have to put it. Um, he doesn't have to actually carry it around in his in his, one of his one of the four main slots. Oh, that was a tongue twister. Who is that? David, come here. Come here. David. I'm going to give him or whoever. I'm going to give whoever this this pipe though. Somebody take this. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch this out for this knife. God, I love having all this space. You guys just don't know. Wait, it's so my backpack is full, so I'm going to switch out the knife for that. Okay. I love it. Oh, it's 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 orgasmic to me. Absolutely orgasmic. But yeah, I was just I was trying to figure out, you know, who my favorite character who my favorite character was, my favorite character. So, and Mark is number 2 for sure because his personal item being a handgun and he has the most powerful melee attacks and just the highest health in the game but unfortunately he's very slow <laughs> but that that's it like that's really his only big weakness is that he's slower than other characters he's like he has one of the slowest running speeds in the game like his one weakness isn't even that bad like if you're trying to speed run shit then yeah The handgun knife combination is so strong in this game. When I mean, you can just drop enemies with the handgun and then finish them off with the knife to save ammo. Psh, it's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's see, aim check. Okay. I forgot how to quick turn in this game. Well she has she can do it like that, so that's cool. She could, just, she could just do that. I wonder how well that works, though. Did you find it? So, Mark is number two. Cindy is number three. Cindy is number three because, uh... Oh, shit. Because she has the herb kit. Which is basically like four extra inventory slots for the sole purpose of carrying herbs. So she can carry three, three, ver like, she can carry three of every version of the herbs. So she can carry three reds, three greens, three blues, and a mix. She ha And so with her, it's just, that's... She never has to really carry around like healing items in one of her main 
four slots. As you can tell, I have a thing about space. <laughs> that's the that's one of my my main concerns playing this game, having just free space. So because she has a whole box for carrying like herbs, you don't have to use one of your spaces for healing items. Typically, typically, you know, you can let the, the NPCs uh, carry carry that. I mean, deal with that, or use like the extras or whatever. Um. Okay, let's go this way first. And she has a faster run speed than like she's, she's like she's not incredibly slow like Yoko or Mark. Her HP is is on the is on the low side for sure, but not as bad as Yoko. She's not too fragile. Y Yoko is really oh god you gotta don't get hit. <laughs> You gotta not get hit with Yoko for real. Alright, I'm gonna give this gun to Kevin. Because I just found another one. So I'll give him that one. I'll use his antivirus pill. Okay. Did you find anything? Quite old, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Hmm. What I have again? Okay, I am just making sure. Hey there. Hi. Number four is Kevin. <laughs> Gotta be Kevin. He has good HP. He has he has good HP. You know, good good vitality. You know, he's a he's a strong lad. He has the fastest run speed in the game. One of his special abilities is the pot shot, which increases the damage of his uh, his his uh, handgun shots. His handgun. Uh, yeah, his uh, shots with the handgun. Hey there. All right, that should Hi. work, right? <laughs> I hope it does. Okay. Just rubbing everything and pressing X. <laughs> you know how it works. Okay, so combine these. Okay, let's go. This is what I'm talking about, man. I already got like a small little arsenal on me. But yeah, Kevin, he got the kick. So when when zombies get close, he can kick him away, then shoot him, or just run past him. And he starts with a personal handgun. The only thing about the only thing about Kevin is that the handgun that he starts with, like I said, is a special handgun, and ammunition for it is rare. It's very powerful, but it's the ammo. It's hard to find ammunition for it. So if you run out. Then, you know, it's gonna be a while before you. It's typically it's gonna be a while before you find more ammo for it. So you gotta be careful how you use it. But I think Kevin is definitely one of the stronger characters in the game. I think he's very well. He's very balanced. I think overall, really objectively speaking, he's got to be like one of the best characters in the game. But just personally. You know, my personal taste just leans more towards Alyssa and Mark because of what they bring to the table. I guess really it just it comes down a lot of it comes down to personal taste. Um, I'm going to ask for I'm going to ask for his pipe and switch it out for the clip, and so he has extra ammo with that. Then I can take this. And there we go. God, Yoko is awesome. <laughs> Yoko is awesome on this stage. I think this is the stage where she really shines. This is really her, this is her stage. Just because of all the, the abundance of items and shit. Oh, this is just great. I think I'm a I'm I'm gonna drop this pipe though. I'm I'm not gonna need that. 
I'm certainly not going to need that. So I'm going to drop that at some point. The knife is more than enough to finish off enemies. The pipe just gives you extra range when you're attacking up 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 front. But that shouldn't be an issue. I should never be in a point where I ran out of, I ran out of ammo with Yoko. Oh shit! See, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, man. They try to set you up. Here, let me help you. Come on. Okay. Just go ahead and finish them off here with some light slashes. So what? So far we got what? Um, Alyssa, Mark, Cindy, Kevin. Oh shit! We got a, a not a runner, but a, a fast zombie. Okay. I think he's still getting chased by him too. God damn, he's. Come on, come on, drop him. Damn, she just kept missing. I got three bullets left. At least in the chain. Drop him, damn. Yes, there we go. He was like a fucking assassin zombie or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like they say him specifically because I was doing too well or something. I don't know. They didn't have adaptive difficulty back then, so. Oh wow, okay, let's keep moving. So yeah, we got Alyssa, Mark, Cindy, Kevin. Now five is a my fifth favorite character is a toss up. It's it's it could be right now it's Yoko for sure, <laughs> but I feel like I've never used David enough to really accurately judge his his worth because he has some pretty interesting abilities. Like, he can create unique weapons that other characters obviously can't. Like, he's a plumber, and he comes with, like, this little tool set. So, he, he comes with his own personal knife and wrenches that he can throw at the enemies. And he has the duct tape, which allows him to make unique weapons, like spears. I think one is, like, a, a, like a, a stun rod or something. Of course, you got to find the right items, but essentially, he can make the best melee weapons in the game that nobody else has access to without David. He has good run speed, good vitality overall. I just think the thing about David is that his, his particular abilities are more nuanced I think you gotta know like each scenario as far as like what type of weapons, like unique weapons you can create with him and like how many of the necessary items are gonna be available to you to actually do it, you know? I think he's that kind of character where it's like, you gotta kinda, Did you find anything? in a sense, you gotta like learn him. That's that's kind of the vibe that I get from David. Like you like you need experience to really appreciate what he brings to the table. And I never I just never really use him a lot. And I, that, that's kind of what I plan on doing. God like he's like the one character that I could like, but never really gave him a fair chance. But right now it's Yoko because of the the inventory, the extra inventory slots. Then David is six. And George and Jim are my least favorite. Like I just I don't like them at all. I just I do, I just don't like them. Just not a fan. Bloody memo. Okay. I'm just not a fan of them at all. 
I'm just it's it's really that simple. David. I'm gonna give David this uh this extra healing item. He's already doing kind of bad. And I'm gonna give him this pipe too. Let me see. David. Like it just he looked pitiful out here. Like he ain't really got shit. Okay. There you go, buddy. Okay. Now you're cool like us. I'm a team player, baby. Hey there. But George and Jim are the only characters I don't like. They're the only characters I don't really like. Um, George is just boring to me. So his his ability is he's a doctor. So he has like this medical kit. So he's able to take herbs and convert them into like different different things. Like he can take a healing herb and turn it into an antidote, and turn a antidote herb and turning into a healing herb that's but i mean in a nutshell that's basically what he does of course it's it's a fair bit deeper than that like i don't know all the combinations oh, that zombie just sped up massively i swear they look so like crazy when they do that little speed up shit though because it's kind of ridiculous like uh, I don't know. It's like they want to run, but they're not allowed to. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, my God. Okay. I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go to the elevator room. But it's all right. But yeah, George is just boring to me because it's like all he does is take herbs and turn them into other like different types of medicines. You know, that's just that's not really exciting when you have Cindy who starts with two of every type of herb anyway. So if you need help, she got it. If you need an antidote, or she she has it. So it's just I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain it to me because I've heard some people defend George, but. I'm just not a fan. And Jim, his thing is that he's he's programmed so that zombies will tend not to attack him over like other characters. So that's one thing. Oh, let me see. Which one was this? Did you find anything? Uh, fuck. I gotta read the memo because I didn't write it down. <laughs> let me see. So yeah, his thing is that he just tends to not get attacked as much. Four two eight four. Of course, if you're alone, then you're gonna get it, regardless. <laughs> but yeah, zombies just have a tendency, and enemies tend to have a tendency to go for other. Find anything. Tends to go for other players over him. He also has a coin. Hey he has a coin on him. And so it's kind of, and this is kind of interesting though. So he has a coin as his personal item. So every time you flip the coin, and I believe every time it, it, it either lands on heads, of, heads or tails, of course. So if it lands on heads, your chance of landing a critical attack with a gun like maybe it's every gun or just handguns. I forgot which, but your chance of landing a critical attack Did you find are increased by 10% or like 5%, 7% or something. So essentially you can stack those coin flips to to get like up to, I think 100% crit rate. But if you flip it and you flip a, a tails, it resets the whole thing. So you can flip it up to a 50% crit rate, right? But if you flip it again and it gets tails, it's back down to the normal rate. So it's interesting, but it's incredibly luck-based and time-consuming because you got to sit there flipping a coin 
until you get his crit rate up. But you could just, you know, go ahead and get like two flips, like a couple flips in just to get his crit rate up maybe by like 20% or so. But if you gam you keep gambling, you know, you're going to reset it. So that's the problem with that shit. No way. And then on top of that, he has like the fastest infection rate. So With him, you have the shortest amount of time to actually complete the stage before he'll just automatically die and transform to a zombie. It's tightly shut on open. Okay. Hey. But he also has a special ability um, where he's able to. Oh shit! You're like, was that a good glitch or something? But but he has a special ability where he's able to. Um, I believe he's able to like play dead. That's what it is. <laughs> he can play dead, and when he's playing dead, the enemies won't attack him at all because he's he's on the floor. Now, the problem, the problem with the play dead ability. Oh, hold on, did I get that card? Uh, was there a card? Am I tripping? But the problem with the play dead ability is that when you're playing dead, your infection rate goes up very fast. So you, you can't abuse it. Well, you can abuse it, but at a cost. But it's interesting because I saw um, when I was watching Carcinogen speed run of this game, he used Jim for this stage. And he abused the fuck out of that... <laughs> Out of that play dead mechanic. Because it has like a ton of. It has a, a lot of invincibility frames. It has a lot of invincibility frames. So when zombies get close to you. You just play dead. And while you're in the falling animation. They can't touch you. And as you're getting up. They can't touch you. And then once you stand all the way up. You can just use it again. To completely avoid being hurt by them. And then on top of that, it springs him forward slightly. So you can you can even use it to Oh shit! <laughs> that spider just jumped on my fucking face. Okay. I bet she's in like caution now. Oh no, nah, okay. She ain't that fragile, I guess. I thought maybe a spider would be harder than that. But I think spiders are mo mainly for like poisoning the characters. Oh my god, D David, you're already in danger? I gotta take care of you, man. So this this stage is, is interesting because it's very ma it's a massive stage. And so Well he has a health item, he's just not using it. That might be that might just be his personality. You know, each each AI behaves differently. Some of them are just programmed to deal with health. Like, one thing I noticed about Jim is that if you give him a full heal health item, like a first aid spray, he could have, he could be in like yellow caution, right? Which isn't really bad. And he'll go ahead and use it. So it's kind of interesting how they how they got the, the NPCs uh, program. Even how they, like when they'll heal, like how long they'll wait before they heal. Like, all that shit is, like, different between the characters. Very cool shit. Let me see. I'm going to take the, this out. You definitely want to have an antidote or two because you got to deal with the wobs down here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, like I was saying though, this this stage is massive. So it's like, once you finish that first university part and get the elevator running, you either go to the fourth fl basement floor or the second. And I went to the fourth, and each one is like its own like mission where you have to get something to create like this uh, 
to create this weapon to destroy uh, this like tyrant prototype or something that's gonna be the boss now to make it fair for the people playing offline all you have to do is get one and the other AI partner is going to get the other one that's why Kevin isn't around right now because he's scripted to get the other in, the other ingredient for this weapon David found a fucking semi-auto and I didn't, didn't even realize it. I was looking for that damn thing. Okay. Hey. Now, whichever way you decide to go, whichever one you decide to go for, the AI partner would go for the other one. I tend to go for this one because the hunters are very dangerous. Like, those... Those hunters, I think the ones, uh, look at how much ammo, he just wasted half a clip. He just wasted half a fucking clip like it was nothing. <laughs> Damn. How, he just wasted half a clip. Like it, like it won't no thing, dog. And I already had like brought the zombie down to like half, half of his health because I was already shooting him. I was going to shoot him down and then stab him to death. And this dude's do -do 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 like Rambo. Come on, dude. This game has one of the stupidest AIs I've ever seen. I swear, man. It really takes the cake. As far as like partner AI, like your ally. Look at him. Oh Lord. He's gonna waste all those bullets, man. He's gonna waste all those goddamn bullets. He's gonna waste all those fucking bullets, man. At least give me those, those handgun rounds. Give me those handgun rounds. Do that for me. I'm going to take this clip. Um, replace this with that. I'm going to keep this recovery medicine. I might switch it out for something else later. But yeah, I, I always tend to go for this, for the, like, through the, the subway. The problem with this route is that you have to deal with the wasp, which are really hard to hit in this game. All the flying enemies from the wasp to the crows are hard to hit. Except the wasps can poison you, unlike the crows. So there's an added extra, there's an added risk to taking this route. But there's plenty of uh, blue herbs around, so you tend to be okay. But it can be, pro it can be problematic. I would imagine it's quite prob quite troublesome when you're playing on harder difficulties, so but you know the, the funny thing about playing this game on normal at, at least on normal is that the issue isn't like a lack of resources for the most part. You know, limited resources are always an issue. But they tend to give you, you know, enough, right? But the problem is that it's really managing your inventory. That's more so the issue with it. Oh, boy. The game is, like, pausing. At least it's not, like, blanking out. But I think it just tends to, for some reason, it does that down here. This disc might be a little scuffed up. I hear an owl outside. Cool. Make sure I got everything. Um, okay. I don't need that many healing items. I can drop that recovery medicine. And I will... 
first chance I get. Okay. I can't go in these lockers, right? Okay, that's 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 it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rather deal with the poison wasps than the hunters. Like the hunters in this level are like these special amphibian hunters, aquatic hunters that swim and shit. And there are a few parts where it's like they can I think they can like instant kill you or something. Like if you're in the water, when they're in the water, they can instant kill you. And I think once that happened the first time, I was like, okay, I'm not going back. This I'm not going back this way. You know, at least when you go this way, you don't have to deal with like getting instantly gobbled up by a, a giant fish hunter. I mean, a giant frog hunter. So. Okay, aim, just aim, checking, just aim, checking. Can I push this? This is like something you could push. Oh look, goddamn camera angle. Nah, okay. I was mistaken. Oh, oh shit! Whoa, it was close. Oh god, I gotta remember that I have that dodge though. It ain't quite like Alyssa's. Alyssa's dodge is awesome. Oh man. But this is the value of space. This is the value. When you can afford to hold a handgun and a knife simultaneously. This this is what this is how you reward it, you know? You save so much ammo because you don't have to finish enemies off with the gun. All you have to do is drop them with the gun, then finish them with the knife. Hey there. It seems so simple, but it's incredibly useful, man. It's incredibly useful. Three twelve. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. For forty seven. I've been on stream for forty seven minutes. The fuck? Damn. Alyssa gets quite a bit of usage in this stage too. If you if you happen to be using her, is that a memo? Okay. Okay. Um, this looks like something that you would activate or something. More handgun rounds. Thank you. What is he? He dropped one of his health items. That's fine. He loves those goddamn assault rifles, though. I wonder if he's programmed not to conserve ammunition, though. Like, make like again. You just you always gotta keep thinking about like the specific programming of the character. I he looked like a zombie through the. He looked like a damn zombie when I looked through that damn locker. Okay. Various measuring devices. This isn't important. It looks so important. Okay. I'm going to definitely drop this clip soon, though. I was kind of looking out for him. Right? You know, I, and I'm realizing this now. You know, I called Yoko a glass cannon earlier, but it's really true. Like, once she gets established with her ammunition and shit, it can, man. Like, right now, she is. The only thing that could really, like, hurt me right now is, like, like you know, cheap enemy placement. You know how that goes. That's about the only thing that could really get me. You know, like, an enemy you were running into because of, like, the fixed camera angles or something like that, but not like if, if i if i see if i see you coming that's it <laughs> i'm gonna shoot you down and i'm gonna stab you to death ain't shit you can do about it oh god here we go it's 
It, is, it begins. I'm poisoned. Oh, Lord, have mercy, bro. I was just talking all that shit. But, granted, the the crows and wops don't count. I'll put it like that. They don't count at all. They they were they are everyone's weakness except the AI partner. They they smoke those guys. Okay, so I'm fucked up right now. <laughs> okay. I was wondering I was wondering why I go through this door and I realized oh it allows you to skip that little wasp part right there but at what cost man at what cost We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> I'm just let you know. We're gonna be here for a little while. We're gonna be here for a little while. I'm gonna use a few bullets on this thing. I'll give it seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now how much do I have left? 60. That's 75. Okay. David, let me see your gun. <laughs> May I have it? I promise not to use up your ammunition. I'll pay you back. I do got a clip on me. This is it. Okay. Cause we got it. I'm not. I can, I'm not dealing with those fucking wasps in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. Okay. And I already had a clip right here, so I'll just pay him back with that. Oh wait, you got a. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, he'll. I'll give it to him later. All right, take this back. You can have it, man. Okay, so this way, this way, I don't have to uh, deal with those wops. I think this is just like a short, like a way to not have to deal with that shit. Or maybe you just you have to. I don't remember. We'll see. Fuck. Something told me to look out for enemies by the goddamn door. All right. Damn, David, chill, man. <laughs> Damn. I mean, hey. oh, fuck. I went through this goddamn thing. Shit. Okay, I grabbed that the blue herb real quick just in case, just in case I don't make it home tonight. Gonna make love to you, brother. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, find that. All right, we're back in business. Should be a grenade launcher around here somewhere too. Okay. Hey there. Oh, what's in here? Okay, another blue herb. Hey. 
Yes, yeah, so opening that door allows you to avoid. It allows you to avoid uh, those wasps, which is really nice. Alyssa could open this, but I don't see the point when you can just crawl through this little hole here. Spare power supply room. Progress. Oh boy. <laughs> this is like the puzzle in the fourth scenario, but uh, bigger, basically. Bigger and better, baby. Oh boy. Okay. I never took the time to figure out exactly how you're supposed to do this in the most like efficient way obviously i tend to just guess right just mash buttons and, until you get it i mean just just keep doing it to you yeah you know, it's that kind of puzzle that you don't really have to know the solution you can kind of just fuck around with it and figure it out like that You have unlocked it. Not nearly as bad as the Resident Evil 4 uh, puzzle, though. When you're using Ashley and you got to rearrange the things and shit. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. But we got to finish this out, man. I told you, this is a... Man, this is a, a long scenario. And we, oh, this is like, if I had to separate it into three parts, this is part two. And we're still not done with part two. We're like two thirds of the way with part two, basically. Come on, Mark, don't waste ammo. I found out though that uh, Outbreak Foul 2 fixes some of the rough aspects of this game. Like with the flying enemies, I found out that in Foul 2, when you're aiming, you can press L1 to like essentially like aim straight for the flying enemy. I just, I don't know what happened with this game. Because it's not the first Resident Evil game that had flying enemies. But it's definitely the first Resident Evil game with flying enemies that are this troublesome to deal with. That's what's so unique about it. Do not enter. Okay, so we gotta go that way. But that's what's so strange about it. Like, why... Why are the flying enemies in this game so much harder to deal with than the other games? I can only imagine that it has something to do with balancing it for online play, though. Because the way they, they tend to work is like... Once they're locked in on a player and they're attacking them, they're a lot easier to hit. But if you're the one being attacked, then that, is, that doesn't really help you out much. <laughs> much, yeah, like much like that. But the AI has no problem hitting them at all. The AI just snipes them out of the sky because they don't have to manually aim. You know, they're programmed to just do what they... Oh, Lord. David, damn. Fuck. He's getting wrecked, too. Let's get out of here. 
Let's get out of here. Look at that. Okay. Oh God, I re I'm remembering this part. Now this shouldn't be too bad, but it is mildly annoying. I <laughs> just look at this, man. But at least, at least the AI partner can snipe these bitches with ease. But yeah, I believe that the reason why they're so difficult to deal with compared to other games is because they probably didn't want the flying enemies to be like trivial. So I, when I look at their patterns, it just seems like, it seems like they want, they want the player to have to depend on each other to, to kill them. Like one of them acting as bait and the other uh, killing them essentially. At least that's, that's how it seems to me. But of course, again, when you're not playing online, it just don't want to work like this. So if you buy yourself, it just it feels almost impossible to really hit him. Yeah, I'm in trouble too. Oh my god, fuck! I didn't realize there was a. I hope I know I did not use that goddamn thing though. Okay. So this is the item that you had to find, the V poison. I've been streaming for over an hour now. Ugh. <laughs> Please. All right, David, good, good, David, good. It's good to see that you're fine again. We survived. It's amazing, like that whole section, like the enemy that gives you the most trouble is just fl the fucking wasp, man. <laughs> you would never expect in a Resident Evil game to, for that to be the case, you know? For the flying enemy to be the just the scariest, you know? But that's just how it is. That's just how it is, you know? You can't be too mad at developers, though. May I have it? There's always going to be like oversights like that, and I think the fact that the fact that they went out of their their way to fix certain things in the sequel, like I think, uh, like not being able to reload outside of the menu and attacking flying enemies, the fact that they took the time to fix those things, you know. You gotta appreciate that. Thanks, Capcom. Is in. I hate this guy because he's he's a tyrant. He's supposed to be scary, but he got this fucking thong on. Calm down. You must give me your blood. Hey, something's wrong. So let's regain our distance then. They could have animated that better. Imp 
impressive. I won't underestimate it next time. It must be going to the man. Might as well set it up. Just so now we got to deal with him. <laughs> He's going to be chasing us, chasing us around. We got to knock him down so we can get the third ingredient for this uh, serum or whatever the hell it is. Kevin should be showing up soon with his half of his portion of the ingredients. Okay, so. Okay, that's cool. Car key. I forgot what that's for, though. Oh, yeah, to get in. Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> oh, I see that right there. Burst rounds. Don't mind if I do. I think at this point I could probably afford to drop the knife. <laughs> Can't imagine there's going to be a lot of things I'm going to want to knife at this juncture. I don't know. Call me crazy. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Bam. Bam. I, I used it. Fuck. Ah. Uh, God damn it, man. I used it. I used. Oh, my God. I made a whole healing item and just fucking used it for no reason. I wonder can you use them when you have full health though. Wait, where's the card? I must have dropped the card to pick the thing up. Shit. Okay. This is when her slow running speed begins to kind of fuck with you a little bit. Okay. Now we gotta link up with Kevin. Oh, imagine if Kevin died on his his mission. I don't think he did though. I don't think they would ever do you that damn dirty. I'm a little spooked. I gotta be, <laughs> I gotta be honest. Yeah, David, you be bait for me. Idiot.
Dude, why those dogs? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was two dogs. I didn't realize it. But that was kind of crazy. I feel like they, uh, the placement of that dog was no accident. They wanted to make it difficult. Like, like you couldn't just lure him out. You had to get up close and personal with him. I get it. That's life. So the tyrant is going to show up. Or Mr. X. He's something. He's like a tyrant. Be He's like a, a bootleg tyrant, basically. Basically, He's like the retarded... The retarded one with the with the thong. Okay, there he goes. It's times like these that you kind of regret using Yoko. It's gonna. Switch that out for that. Oh shit! Oh fuck! He's be he's beating the shit out of David. <laughs> I don't want him to be able to get the drop on us like that. I'm trying to lure him through the door. Okay. I'm hoping he'll just show up. I didn't want to just, you know, I didn't want him to just pop in like that and just start beating the hell out of <laughs> beating the hell out of us. All right, so let's go. Okay. So he's in pursuit mode right now. He's in hot pursuit. We haven't even linked up with Kevin yet, though. I just realized that. Shit. Come here. David, come here, man. <laughs> The key is you gotta. I think you can drop him with regular ammo, but you want to lure him to one of these like dangling wires and electrocute him. Here. Got him. Wow. You can have that knife, buddy. <laughs> See you later. Damn. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What can I say, man? They don't call me Chad for nothing. That's why this stage is so awesome, though. Like, look at everything I had to do. God, imagine having to get the, the, the third ingredient, too, though. I wonder if he gets back up if after you knock him down the first time, though. I'm not sure. Okay. 
gonna look at the map real quick. Okay. So it's a straight shot. It's a straight shot there. We gotta hope. <laughs> we really gotta hope Kevin did his thing, man. Kevin could literally be lying dead somewhere, but I don't. Nah, I just I, I don't think that's that would happen though. I don't think I ever had that issue. They, it's not. They, they, it seemed like the third character always pulled through somehow. Because the whole thing is scripted anyway. At least as far as like what they do. So. I think Mr. X can show up here too. As you can see, hole in the ground. Okay. Kevin, please be here. What happened? Oh boy, I we still haven't found Kevin. <laughs> I'm just hoping he's already in the lab. If he's not, that means that we got to go outside to find him or something. We got to go get Kevin. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, fuck. We got to go get Kevin. Because he's not just showing up. He's not just popping up. Hey, guys, I got it. <sighs> I think they want you to run by those goddamn sharks. I think that's all it is, really. Let me see. We'll check right here first. If anything, just hope like he's dead with the item or something. <laughs> okay, he might. I think I hear him. Yes, there he go. God damn. May I? He got it. You did it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Had me worried and shit. Okay. Put this up. I'll take the assault rifle. I don't mind. Oh, that thing is fucking empty. Damn, Kevin. Okay, we got another first aid spray here. So it's you. I thought Regent compounds were stored up ahead. Just take this with you. I'm a bit, a bit tired. Um, sorry, I can't do much with that, buddy. Did you find anything? Mm. Nobody ever found a grenade launcher, though. I think I know where it's at, too. But I don't want to go get. I don't want to go get that goddamn thing. But I think it's right down here, actually. 
Let me just look real quick. I don't think it's that far. If I see one enemy, I'm turning back and I'm just like, fuck it, man. Yep, I'm not going down here. <laughs> <laughs> Three, like 180 man complete 180 nah I'm good I know what's down there what? Here's what I'm thinking. I know what's down there so Did you find it? let's go over here real quick though I think I can find stuff easy right here on the pier so you can run into neptune the sharks at the pier over here we're not going that deep into the area hopefully the ai won't be stupid and run over there you know how they love just being dumb for no reason there's a clip kevin no i i see look look they're already doing it they're already david fucking ran over there it's nothing it's just straight sharks over there <laughs> it's like sharks in the water and they can drag you in and fuck you up oh boy i don't know how difficult it would have been but i just think that as far as like the ai is concerned Like, maybe, like, why not just give the player, like, damn near absolute control <laughs> over what they do? Like, uh, all right, I'll I put it like this. I'll put it like this. Like, you ever seen, like, RPG Maker or Fighter Maker, a game like that? And just, like, how detailed you can go into as far as, like, customizing your game. I think so. Why not make it so you could customize the AI of your partner characters? Think about that. Like that's actually really fucking cool. All right. Think about it. You can customize. You can customize the every like like damn near every specific detail of your partner AI, your partner character AI. Like okay, at what point do they use a health item? And then, like, okay, what if it's this particular health item? What do they do when enemies fall down? They attack with melee weapons. You know, shit like that. Okay. That's one. That's two. No way. That's three, baby. So this this uh, this formula or whatever that you're creating. Here's what I'm thinking. The electric power is down. It's going to allow you to basically instant kill the tyrant during the final fight. And that's essentially what we're doing here. Idiot. Grenade launcher. Don't mind if I do. Glad I kept those grenade rounds. Here's what I'm thinking. Somebody take this assault rifle. Okay. 
everybody's looking good. I don't want these antivirus pills though. I will take a third first aid spray. Okay. Yes. Oh God, that's so great. It's like just saving space, man. Just saving space. Probably won't be able to keep all those first aid sprays, but you know, I'm just trying to be as careful as possible. It's 351. We're almost there. We're almost there. My apologies for this place being so hectic. It's a little crazy. I'm monitoring your progress from here. I am grateful for your assistance. Daylight is it. The only resource against the T-Virus. I cannot give it over to Umbrella. They're the ones responsible for the catastrophe which has befallen the city. In retrospect, that entire T-Project was a total disaster. Brute force should not be the only criterion for a weapon. It must also be beautiful, unique, and Godlike. Like a black man in a thong. You will also assist me. You're going to play with my ultimate creation. Yoko, it's been two years. Oh, but you might not know that. After all, what happened was so terrible. I think you'd want to erase it from your memory. Oh boy. Farewell. <laughs> what a terrible way to go. Okay. Now it's crunch time. So we got a time limit here. Hey there. Handgun. I probably won't keep that very long. Now, don't forget that you got to turn on bo both of those damn things. So, the way this works is that incubator is going to be constantly creating the, uh, the formula. I tend to go for two because it takes about a minute for it, for it to create one. The, the more you try to get, the less time you have to get out, basically. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Nah, nah, nah. Don't go there. We got to go back. Don't try to screw me over. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to get two out of here. There we go. That's one. Okay. That should be enough. Let 
Yeah, I always tend to grab two. I bet on very hard. This part is way different. Those hunters are hung up there for a reason. I'm pretty sure they're probably chasing you around and shit. Okay, just making sure I ain't forgetting nothing. Okay. Come on, Yoko. Book it, book it. You're a young girl. You're a young girl running like a grandma. I think Mr. X Tyrant, whoever the fuck he is, will make an appearance. Residents from oh lord <laughs> we got a ways to go But now that I think about it, shouldn't I have just go through the elevator? Or maybe it's like set up so that you can't. It's probably something like, I don't know, it's probably something to prevent you from doing that. We got three minutes to get out of here. I've been streaming for an hour and 33 minutes. But you know, the, the load times really extend the, the amount of time that it takes to beat these scenarios. Idiot. Hey. No. Uh I'm just praying he doesn't try to get me. <laughs> <Amen. Huh. laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> oh, God. I ran through all the wrong rooms trying to get out of there. I wonder if there's another way to get out though. It's gotta be another way. I hope I'm going the right way. I know I came in through this way. Oh God, and Kevin runs faster than me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You're talking about the slowest run speed versus the fastest run speed. And then 
a tyrant running behind both of you. Ugh, that's creepy shit, man. We made it. We made it out. God damn it. I forgot if you can just wait it out or if it's something you gotta actually do. But I think you waited out. It's kind of like the turntable part in the hot in the below freezing point scenario. They just want to make sure they give everybody enough time to get to safety. So you got to wait it out. I'm going to get right here though. Okay, let's hope I don't die. Kablooey. Oh, no. What was that? Get to the helicopter! Get to the chopper! I always wonder why does uh, Sylvester Stallone have that weird thing with his mouth, you know, where it's like one side would be like kind of dangling down. I don't know, I always thought that was weird. Oh my god, I forgot about this. The fucking bees, man. What a asshole move, bro. <laughs> to put bees at the very end like that, that's so bad. Oh boy. Wow, I forgot about that. And that always really pissed me off. I felt like that was really low of them to do that. Because it, it really was. I think you got to fight the tyrant straight up one time. Where's David? I'm kind of worried because I like is David gonna be here? Come on. Uh -huh. I ne I never saw him die or anything. 
But maybe he did. Hey there. But I do not remember him dying. Iron pipe. For what? We're about to fight a goddamn hey tyrant. Here's what I'm I guess they wanted Mark to feel to feel like they cared about him. Hey there. Okay, let's do this. I forgot the specifics of fighting this guy. I think once you drop down, though, it starts. Yep. Here we go. So this is Tyrant 1. I hope David shows up. <laughs> this is not the time to be alone. As Yoko, oh my God, with limited health. And I can't use. Okay. I gotta help though. I think that did something. Damn, the range on that shit is ridiculous. Okay, we got him. Tyrant one down. That wasn't so bad. So I think now you got to find like this special gun to put the the formula in the daylight formula. Oh, or maybe. Oh no. Or maybe you're supposed to do it. I think I fucked up. I think I really fucked up. I think you're supposed to find it as you're fighting him. <laughs> There's like a refrigerator or something with it in there. Otherwise, you have to fight him for real. Ugh. I hope I'm wrong, but I think that's literally how it works. I think that's literally how it works. Oh my God. Oh well, we'll kill him anyway. Regardless. As long as Kevin backs me up, we should be all right. Damn. Come here. Oh, 
dude, what the fuck? Kevin just died on me, god damn it. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my god. I always forget the range on that is really ridiculous. Way more ridiculous than you think. Damn, whoa. Have you ever seen such ridiculous range on a move? I swear to God. Got him, okay. So I didn't have to use the daylight serum to kill him. I forgot that you have to get the, the gun to put the serum into it while you're fighting him the first time. If you don't, you don't, you don't get the opportunity to get it. Uh, but we still won. I was, again, Yoko Magic backpack. <sighs> and all that good shit. <laughs> Nobody else made it, but oh well. I don't know what the fuck happened to David. Last time I saw David, he was going fine. And then he just didn't show up at the end. Wow. Is there a secret hiding inside me? Yoko, it's been two years. Oh, but you might not know that. If so, I can't run away from it. This is finally something hopeful. I have to see this through to the end. <laughs> Who's that black guy? Looks like Mark. You know, I, I intended to play this game on the gaming channel with a official walkthrough. And I'm still going to do it, but I find it funny that I ended up playing the whole game anyway. Once I started, I couldn't stop, you know. I knocked out three scenarios in one night, and I was like, Psh, how can I not? But I'm still going to do another playthrough of this on the, for the gaming channel, like official official tissue but we made it we, we got through 
I don't need to go too deep into like a review or nothing. We'll do that for the main playthrough. today's results. It's been six months, but the number's still the same. There's no way people could sustain life there. Not humans, no. Sir, there's a call for you from the head office. Put it through. You'll start at noon as scheduled. Is everything ready? Yes, we'll be dropping two for each, beginning with sample T4. The rest will follow at 15 minute intervals. That is so ridiculous. Like built the lab on the <laughs> on the goddamn ruins of Raccoon City. What a disaster, I swear. Kinda take for granted that the whole place gets nuked. I wonder how many people made it out though. I know it wasn't just like Leon and Jill and Claire and whatnot. Wow, all that work and you get not even two thousand points. Ridiculous. Uh I hope you guys enjoyed that stream. I'll be returning later with uh I might do Chainsaw Man today, volume three, but uh we'll see. So Johnny. <laughs>